Hey everybody, Coach Phillips here. I'm ready to lead you in a dynamic warm up. So, get ready. Let's go. Find a little space. We're going to start off just with some jumping jacks. So, here we go. Out and in. So, the idea of a dynamic warm up is just to get your body flowing, to get your blood circulating off your body so that you can then go and do a workout. So, ideally, this just leads up to whatever workout you're going to do later. Now, if jumping jacks don't work for you, you can certainly just step out and in, perfectly fine. The idea is just activating your body and getting it all warmed up and ready to go. Three, two, one. So here we go, we're gonna open our legs a little bit. We're just gonna reach to the sides, alternating back and forth. Really good job. So this is just our warm up for our warm up, basically. So I'm just going to whatever comfort level I have right now. Maybe I'm just waking up. Maybe I've been sitting and doing work all day long. Whatever it is, I'm just taking it nice and easy and then we'll get into it a little bit more as we go. Three, two, one. So you're just gonna come here, you're gonna step opposite hand. Opposite hand goes down. I'm just gonna kinda of come up here, okay? So this just opens up your body a little bit more. If you have your other hand rotation going, that's perfectly fine. We're just getting started a little bit as we're going. Good job. My next exercise is my favorite. Just side to side toe touches. Three, two, one. So just come here. So I'm just going side to side here. Nice and easy. We'll go up the next level here in a second. So we're gonna do this entire circuit three times. And I've got four circuits for you. So we're gonna get moving. Side to side. Make sure you're not dropping your chest when you're doing this, so I'm not coming down here. I'm still keeping a, kind of an upright chest. You go back to those jumping jacks in three, two, one. Here we go, back to jumping jacks. Just nice and light. Again, you can step it out if you would rather. If you don't like jumping jacks, I used to like doing this instead, where it's not just the out and in, but it's still moving my body. Just do what works for you. Ten more seconds here. Really good job. You getting out of breath a little bit? I am. I'm going back to the side to side reach. Ready? So get stable. I'm just going to go side to side. Now I'm obviously in my garage. If you want to go outside, you can go outside and do this. You can do it inside. Wherever you are, just make sure you have a stable place. You're not going to be knocking anything over. You're not going to be twisting your ankle on any sidewalk cracks or grassy roots that are coming up through anything. Good job. And we're going to do that step in alternating arm. So I think I was doing it wrong the first time, but that's okay. Maybe this is the same way I was doing it. I really have no idea. It's okay. It's really just about opening up that chest, getting your blood flowing all the way through everything, and just starting off everything nice and good. So I'm going to go to another, a little bit higher level of the next side bend. You can stay where we were if you want to, or you can join me. All it is is going to be opening up my chest as I go. All right, so all we're here. So the first time I just went side to side, and I'm going to touch my toe and reach backwards a bit. So I'm just gonna, I don't wanna go too fast because it's easy to lose your balance doing this. So just whatever nice, easy pace you can maintain is what I want you to do. Just side to side. Good. Five, four, three, two. One more set of these jumping jacks. Here we go. Out and in. Good. So I'm creating all these specifically for my track team. I'm a middle school track coach, and it is the spring season of 2020. So what is that? Coronavirus. So I actually don't get to see my track team, which makes me kind of sad. I really like them, they're great kids, and we're gonna have a wonderful season. So it's kind of sad. But they need to know that I am always their coach, as I will always be your coach if you keep coming back here. So, my kids, I miss them a lot. You know, spring break always comes, and you're like, all right, I don't have to teach for 
a week, but then you always expect them to come back to you. And now they're not coming back to me. And it just kind of carries my heart a little bit, but nothing I can do about it. You gotta stay safe. All right, good. Last one here. And we're gonna open and close. Open, good. This is just kind of calming you down a little bit and getting you breathing, opening up your chest. Really good job. We're gonna go back to the side to side toe touch here in a second. And after that, we're gonna start into our next circuit. So again, these are just dynamic warm ups to get your body ready and active, active and ready to fire. So that side to side toe touch, here we go. Set up nice and good, side to side. Maybe you can go a little bit deeper now that we're warmed up a little bit better. I know I can. Good job. So after this, we're gonna do a little shake out and then we're gonna start right in to our next little circuit. You'll see a little bit higher intensity this next time, but still nothing too big. Then we're gonna go into a stretch and then we're gonna finish it up with one more little open and closer. So here we are, just shake it out, get your body ready to go. Maybe you're feeling a little bit looser. So we're gonna do high knees, butt kicks, some punches, and then some open the gate, close the gate. So let's start with some high knees. So all we're doing here is some high knees. I'm gonna turn them aside so you can see me. I like to put my hands down so I know how high to go. If you don't like this impact, or if someone's yelling at you because you're jingling and jangling inside too much, you can do this too, that's fine. I'm just gonna go up, and I'm trying to be on my toes as I go up and down. I'm not flat-footed landing down hard. So nice and light on your toes. Maybe you can hear me. I'm trying to be quiet. Okay, now we're going into butt kicks. So all you do is kind of go up and down here. Again, I like to put my hands down so I can feel, make sure I get to where I need to go. If you just want to do the step, that's fine. You don't have to be jogging as you go. Good job. About 10 more seconds, we got this. So like the warm up, we're gonna go through each series three times. We're just at 30 seconds each time. Three, two, one. So now we get a wide stance. We're just gonna side to side punch. Side to side. So now I'm rotating through my hips, swinging it and going, kind of punching, punch away frustration, anxiety. Don't want to hit too hard, so I don't want you to hurt your elbow. So it's a nice little punch, but it's more about the rotation of your hips. My feet are kind of rotating as I'm going. Not a whole big much, because I want the stability here. My feet are kind of rotating. Now this one, you're going out and back in. Out and back in. Out. You might need to hold on to something for some balance on this one. My kids call it open the gate, close the gate. Open the gate, close the gate. This is a big soccer warm up. One of my soccer kids do it before they go and run for me and stuff like that. Out, in, good. Whew. It's gonna be one time through. We got two more of this series. Ready? Back to high knees. Now, if you wanna use your arms, if you feel like you're getting high enough, I, I know that I tend to cheat myself though. So that's why I put my arms down here. So you can absolutely use your arms. And the idea is to go as fast as you can, maintaining that high knee posture. All right. I'm getting out of breath. Good job. Three, two, one. Into butt kicks. Here we go. Butt kicks. Good job. So I had my track kids do all of these type of things before they would have a workout for the day. And I think they finally started right before we got shut down. I think they started finally seeing the benefits of them. Good job. Ten more seconds here. Good job. Five, four, three, two, time. Side to side punches. So side to side. Again, a nice little twist. You get your feet pretty much where they are. And I'm twisting through my toe as I'm going. I don't want to twist my knee just for the sake of staying stable. So I'm twisting kind of through my toe. And again, it's really just warming up my core muscles as I go. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
One, then that open gate, close the gate. I like this one. Especially, I find myself sitting a whole lot during this pandemic. And this really helps open up all those sitting areas. So your hip flexors just run up and down through here, which when you sit, they're contracted the whole time. So this really opens them up. Great exercise for that. Five more seconds, and then last series of high knees and butt kicks. Here we go. Here we go. You can do it. Up and down, up and down, up and down. I like to get a little rhythm going if I can. I'm not the quickest of people by any means. So if you go faster than me, please do so. Same with the butt kicks. Up and down. Again, if you don't like the impact, just do steps here. You're still working those same muscles. Perfectly fine. Three, two, time, and do the butt kicks. Here we go, again, go on and start if you're a faster one, but this is still the same thing. I'm controlling my legs as I'm coming down, I'm not just flopping them down. Good job. 15 seconds left. Here we go, last set of these, so do what you can do. Five, I'm gonna do it 10 more seconds. Five down from the 15. Sorry. Now we're at four, three, two, punches. Here we go. Punch. Now I'm obviously jumping from one round to the next. If you need to pause and take a break, go get water, you certainly can. But don't forget to come back. Come back, come back. Good job. About 10 more seconds. 10, 8, Seven, six, five, here we go. Finish it up and time. Now open and close the gate. Open and close. Open, good job. If you're gonna need water, I recommend going to get it when we're done with this. Just put me on pause. I'm gonna explain the next move because it can be a little bit tricky and a little bit confusing. So I'm going to slam it. So you will have a little bit of downtime. Pay attention while you're getting water if you don't pause me. Three seconds. Two. All right. This is my favorite move. I feel like it stretches every part of your body. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull your knee in. Then you're going to go down. It's a balance component. So if you need to hold on to something, you can. I just fell. And then as you come up, you're going to twist to that same direction. Okay? So this time we're going to do all of them on this leg, the next time we do all of them on the other leg. Ready? Set. If you need to go slower than me, that's fine. Join me though. Up. We go down with the balance. Pull it up. Hold. And open. Okay? Up. If you need to touch down at any point, you can. If you can't go down quite as far and you want to get something to hold on to, and then pull up. Good. That is fine as well. Go down. Good job. Pull it up. Oh, I forgot to pull in, and I look at that. Pull in. Go down. Pull it all the way up. Squeeze here. Good. Whew. All right, that one got me. Now we're just going to do a sumo squat. Come here. Just go down and up. Down and up. Now, if you can't go down quite as far, it's fine just to come here. The idea is going to go down and up. And when you go down, I'm not hunching my shoulders over. I'm still keeping my chest upright if I can. Good. Let's go a couple more seconds here. Down, up, down, good. So this one, stand with your feet about hips width apart. I'm gonna put my hands up here. Maybe you just start here and you're spinning down and then going back up. Join me. We're going down. My knees are not locked. They're soft knees so they're not pushed all the way back. They're just kind of soft knees so I can keep my, my weight distribution at the front of me. Down and up. Now I can go down further, so I'm gonna go down a little bit further and back up. You go down wherever you feel like you've got the movement. Down and up, get one more in. Down and up, good. Now we're gonna go wide here and all you're gonna do is twist back and forth. Join me, go. So we're just twisting back and forth as we go. Again, I'm sweating. I think that it's the fact that I'm in the garage and it's very humid today, but I'm sweating a lot. 
rotate back and forth. Good. Nice little rotations. Now this one, my toes are stable, not like the punches at the beginning. And time. Now, the other leg. So we pull it up, we're jumping right into it. We go down, pull it up. If you need to grab balance, you can. And rotate, I'm rotating away from you this time. So down, oh, I forgot to squeeze in. It's all right, rotate back. Pull your knee in, there it is. Go down, up, see how you spell, rotate back, and get one more in. Knee in, pull out. I normally do this walking, but I think it's just throwing me for a loop. All right, now we're gonna go down and up. The sumo, squat and reach is what I call it. Sumo squat and reach. Good. Now the next move we're gonna do, again, it's up to your ability and your range of motion. I'm going to add my arms up behind my head. That increases the weight that I'm lowering and lifting with just my back muscles. So if you're not ready to do that, don't do it. Here we go. So you're here, again, kind of bent knees here. So I'm going down and up. Maybe your range of motion is just right here. Maybe you want to keep your hands by your waist. I'm going down and up and down. And I'm not going all the way up. I'm not giving myself a break. I'm just kind of coming almost there, but not quite there. So I feel like you kind of give yourself a break when you come all the way up. And time. Go wide again for that core twist. And we're just right here. So I like to follow, I like to have my head follow my, my core as I go around so that, um, I lose my train of thought when I'm following my motion so that uh, my whole body can go, but that also makes me dizzy. So if you need to stop and focus just on me, that's fine. And time, that three-way leg stretch. Let's see if I get it right. So, ready? You pull up. You go down. You rotate away. And you're back in the middle. Pull up. Go down. Rotate away. Back in the middle, there we go. Up, go down, rotate away. Let's go to the other side. Go up, go down. So I do this out of my driveway, rotate, and then, so I do it walking, so I would alternate the sides that I'm going on. That's where I was getting tripped up. I still doing it wrong. Let's do one more. Up, go down. And then rotate. Good. That sumo squat and reach. Last set of these. Down and up. Join me. Here we go. Good. Whew. So the balance one is a little tricky. I love it though. Makes me feel good. My whole body is activated on that one. Down and up. Good job. Down. Almost done here. Back to those hip hip bends, core bends, whatever you want to call it. Three, two, one, here we go. So again, get your body in good position. You're just gonna lean forward and up. If this is, if you can go deeper, you're just gonna drop down more and up. Make sure that everything's coming through your back. So if your back is not strong enough to do that, then don't do that. Now I'm gonna add my arms and come up. I think this one feels great. You do what feels comfortable for you. Three, two, time. Last one of those sumo twists. Jump right into it. We've got one more series to go. Good job. 20 seconds here. So again, if you need to go get a sip of water, if you need to take a little break, Deal is, you gotta come back to me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get your water, do whatever. So now we're gonna do inchworms. So all these worms are is you're gonna go down and walk yourself out and walk yourself back in. Ready? Here we go. Out, 
So I like to find my, my plank and then I walk myself back in and up. Now, if you're not as flexible and you need to go down on bent legs, that's fine. Walk back in as far as you can and then stand up from there. I can go down, so I'm gonna go down. And up, and stop there, good. So now we're just doing some arm circles. So just take your arm and go back and forth, back. I'm gonna turn to my side, so I'm touching back here. So I'm trying to touch my, like where my belt would go basically, but I'm keeping my toes pointed forwards. And switch arms. So this really opens up the chest. But keep your toes pointing forwards. Maybe you don't have that full rotation, and that's fine. Good job. Three, two, one. The next one is Frankenstein's. So I'm going to show you. This is the movement. But a lot of people will end up throwing your leg up there. You're going to tear your hamstring, and you have no control. So join me. Maybe you just go here. Let's start slow and low and then you can feel what's comfortable for you. So see, everything is under control. What I tell my students and my athletes is that if I were to say stop, you'd be able to stop that motion at any point. That means that you're under control. So for this round, let's just go nice and easy, keep it low, make sure that you are under control. Listen, you can barely hear me when I'm putting my foot back down. If you can hear yourself flopping, you're not doing it right. And time, let's go back to those inch worms. Ready? So we just walk it out. Hold there for a beat and walk in. Pull it up, go down. If you can pay attention to what hand you lead with, try to alternate it. It's just, it was interesting to me when I started paying attention. I was definitely favoring one side over the other. Go out and last one here, good. Go back to those arm circles. Just going out and in, out. Good. I hope you love these as much as I do. I love these. It feels so good. Good job. Out. In. Last one. Switch sides. Go out. Good. So see, I'm keeping my hips as much as I can straight forwards to you. Good. Now, back to those Frankensteins. So again, let's try to go a little bit higher up if you've got the flexibility. I'd rather you stay low and safe and fly up and end up hurting yourself. I had girls that would think that they were like on the Raw Cats team and they'd be doing these like high kicks and some of them can do that. But then the boys would try to follow along and they were pulling their own hamstring. I'm like, oh, don't do that. All right, good job. Now I noticed I forgot one. So here we are, we're gonna add it in now. So we're just gonna pull and around. So pull side to side, I'm turn sideways so you can see it. So I'm pulling here. And down. If the balance is hard, so the idea is just you're going side to side here, but the knee that you're going towards comes up as well. Pull, 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 good. So we will come back to this one after our inchworms just to make sure we get our full rotation in. And time. So now we're in the inchworms. If you're confused, just follow me. Here we go. Inchworms out, hold, and in. Up, good, out, hold, and up. I love these. These for me are a full body stretch as well. Good job. And up, out, good job. Last one, right here. Now we're going back to that row of the boat, one that I forgot. So we're here, down. So it's kind of again that extra squeeze. Oh, good. So I'm trying to keep my body backwards. Do you see my, my angle? So I'm almost leaning backwards a little bit as I go. And it's nice and under control. I'm not hurting myself, but I'm certainly getting some extra work in that side and that back area. Five, four, three, two, one. Go back to arm circles. Back and in, back and in. Good job. Back, in. I know I'm definitely feeling warmed up for a workout now, switch arms. So this is a little more intense than the dynamic warm-up that my athletes normally go through, but it's definitely 
hitting a lot of the areas that I would want my athletes to be warmed up in. After this, into Frankenstein's. Now, now is the time when you try to go a little bit further, but still, look, I am under control the entire time. I'm not flopping, I'm not flapping, I'm not doing anything. And I'm not coming over here. A lot of people think that they can go higher. Yeah, but that's not really doing what you want it to do. So just up, and my foot is flexed. Keeping my foot flexed just to help increase that runner's position. Three, two, and our last row of the boat, and then we're done. Here we go. Side, 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 side. Good. So the idea after this is now you go and do a workout. Maybe this was your workout, and that's fine. Go for a walk or something too. Good job. Come on, we got 10 seconds left. But hopefully, at least your entire body is warmed up a bit. Five, four, three, two, and time. Thanks for joining me, Coach Phillips. Come back and see me soon. Have a great day.